Hi there, today we're unboxing a tablet. So this particular one is by a company called Trekstore and it's the SurfTab B10. Details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So let's take a quick look around the packaging. So it comes nicely packaged with a picture of the actual tablet. Some details around there, so HD IPS display. If I turn it around, get some more details. So Android 8.1 Oreo on there, You've got a quad core processor, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi two megapixel camera on the back and a micro SD card slot. Okay, if I come around here, got some branding there, just an icon there, some more branding, and on the back, got some details. So let me come in close so you can see. So, RAM wise, two gig, ROM is 32 gig, display is 10.1 inch, okay. That's the display size, so 1280 by 800, so not full HD on there. Front camera is 0.3 megapixel, so quite low resolution. Rear is 2 megapixel, which is reasonable, I'd say. Coming down here, Wi-Fi supported is 2.4G and 5G, so both speeds supported, which is good. Micro SD cards up to 64 gig. Stereo speakers, microphone, G-sensor, so G-sensor could be useful for some games. GPS, and that's some basic details about it. So, let's open it up and see what you get in the packaging. Okay, so I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging, so let me quickly go through them one by one. So, you get a lot of documentation, if I bring that apart. Two quick start guides, only because multi-language support. Then you've got uh, service information and useful tips. And then you've got finally important safety and legal information. And look at this, loads of it. So that's that one. Next we've got screen wipe. So piece of cloth, which is 15 centimeters squared and build seems okay of that. Okay, next you've got power brick. And this is the European one, so no good to me. And if I come in close, you might be able to work out the actual output on there. So I've had a look and it's five volts, 2000 milliamps. Next, you've got a charging cable. So if I open that up, just to show you the quality of the cable, really good quality cable. So USB to micro USB, nice chunky connectors and a thick cable on there, which is nice. And then you've got a USB connection point, so a female point to micro USB and quite a short length on that one. So the length of the charge cable is 1.1 meters. And this is, if I quickly get my ruler, I think it was about 15 centimeters. Yep, yeah, 15 centimeters. Okay, next the actual tablet. So 10.1 inch in size and build seems okay, seems reasonable. So glossy face on there on the top and if I come in close you can just see the camera there obviously some branding it's got a screen protector on there okay so it says Android 8.1 quad core Wi-Fi 0.3 megapixel on the front and 2 megapixel on the back and micro SD card slot on there as well okay so if we come just below you've got two speakers so stereo on there if I lift it like so just to show you there's a slight notch on there and another two there and if i keep coming around got some more things here so you've got a reset button if i show at this angle you've got a power button a volume minus and plus you've got the actual camera there headphone jack micro sd card slot and the usb slot and if I come around here, there's no cover on the micro SD card slot. So obviously you can just push it in and take it out as you want. I've covered up the serial number just below and a matte finish on the back. So build quality seems reasonable on this. Okay, so let's make a start at setting up this tablet. So the buttons here for the power, if I hold on to that, give it a moment. There you go, turned on. Let's give it a second. Okay, so it started up asking for language selection. So let's change that to English. Oh, just at the top. 
So English Germany, but let's go for English and UK, United Kingdom. There you go. Do start. Okay, next it's looking for Wi-Fi networks. So let me select my test network here. Okay, so let me enter in my Wi-Fi password off camera. Okay, so I've entered my Wi-Fi password. Let me click connect. Okay, so now it's asking copy apps and data, so transfer apps, photos, music and more. Choose what to copy later. So let's just set this up as a new device with nothing to copy across. Okay, so now it's asking for a Google sign in. So let me sign in with my Gmail account off camera. Okay, so I've signed in with my Gmail account. I'm just gonna click agree to the terms and conditions. Okay, protect your tablet so you can put a pattern, a pin or a password. I'll just click not now for that. Okay, skip anyway. Okay, so Google Assistant. And I'll just click next to that. Okay, no thanks, we don't want that. And I don't want to back up to the cloud and leave location services off. More, send system data, no to that. And I'll just click agree. Another account to add email wise, nope. And it's just completing setup now. And there you go, all set up, ready to use. Okay, so the tablet is fully installed and ready to use. I've installed a few applications in the background. So let's take a quick look around the tablet. So initially, if I drop down here, go there, and that's the actual full brightness of the screen. Now, in terms of brightness levels, I don't think it's as bright as some of the premium brand tablets out there, but sufficient for general usage. Now, if I drop down here and we go to settings and go all the way down here and about tablet and just going down here, Android version 8.1. So that's that confirmed. If I now go back and go to storage, 7.18 gig used of 32 gig so it confirms it's got 32 gig of storage on there okay in terms of actual picture quality it does look nice and clear and responsiveness wise it's not too bad go to the web let's try browsing the web pages so i've got a number of pages open here at the moment let's flip between them just gives you an idea of performance when you've got multiple pages open. So it's not too bad, is usable, I have to admit. And let's go to YouTube here, scroll down, let's go back to home, flip back here, images. So not bad at all, the experience isn't that bad and it is usable. Okay, so next, let's test out the tablet streaming a movie straight off YouTube. So, I've got one of my videos playing here. Let's turn the sound up just for a moment. And not only smart, also has music sync built in. Details in the description okay, below. Okay, so one thing to note, it sounds very tinny, so it doesn't sound like there's any bass in there. So, if we skip it a little bit to a point where there's some music playing, Yeah, very, very tinny noise. Doesn't sound with bassy at all, really. So minimum amount of bass on there. So not too bad. No distortion. Obviously, this is at maximum at the moment. Not getting any distortion. So next, let me get my sound level meter. So you can see it got up to 80 decibels coming out of there. So reasonable sound quality on there. 
and if I pause it now okay it's the next let's test out the picture quality on here if I drop down here and have a look it's on 480p so that's the maximum resolution you can go to on YouTube so 720p 60 frames per second so this is a 4k video recorded on our travels channel called Geek Street Ch Travels and it's 4k at 60 frames per second so if I go into full screen just to give you an idea of quality so not struggling in any way and it is quite clear and let's just double check it's gone over yeah so yeah it doesn't go to 1080p so 720 is the maximum so not struggling anyway smooth and picture quality is good okay so next let's perform a benchmark test on this tablet so I've got some benchmark software installed and let me hit test okay so the benchmark test has completed now so let's take a look at the value it's come back with so 39,457 if we go back from there and it said it defeated 1% of users so that means that it's quite a low-end tablet so in terms of performance it is quite low so if I go to ranking okay so the lowest one here is 132,971 and if we actually look at the tablet just repeating the number again so 39,457 it's a very low ranking here so not optimized for high-end performance or using too many applications at the same time so this sort of confirms that and looking at the graphics the 3d graphics even that it was struggling with so keep that in mind if you do get it okay so next let's test some gaming out so I've got real racing 3 on here and performance isn't too bad so obviously it's not pushing the tablet to the extreme but running well as you can see graphics wise pretty good as well so I hope it gives you an idea how it copes with basic sort of gaming on here so it works well as you can see okay so next I wanted to do a comparison with my Samsung tablet and the actual Trek store just to show you the the actual brightness of the screens and you can see that's at max brightness and so is that so the color is much richer on this particular tablet let it play a bit longer and there you go that gives you a good idea of the difference and again let me lift it up okay so next I wanted to show the actual camera on here so if I go to the camera app and if I now show you around so here is a different picture mode so you've got normal beauty mode and panorama mode okay let's go back to normal if I go to turn on HDR okay so it's saying do not move device during HDR capture obviously that's going to blur it a little bit that's why it's saying that if I go here to settings and if we click on here you can just see 1.9 megapixel on the camera and video wise you can go up to 1080p so seems reasonable so don't expect to take any amazing shots on here it's a very basic camera and picture quality is reasonable I'd say I'll put some footage of video and pictures so you get an idea of what it's going to be like okay so here's a sample video being recorded on the tablet colors don't look so bright and vivid I have to admit so that is quite orangey red and it's like it's washed out the colors on there in terms of movement wise it does seem a bit blurry as you're going along so not the greatest but reasonable if you want to take basic videos on this Okay, and this is the front camera on there. 
just to give you an idea of the quality you're going to get off there. Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this tablet. This is the Surf Tab B10. Build-wise, it's not too bad. In terms of accessories to get with it, not too happy they gave a power adapter which was EU. So not a big deal. I've got loads of power bricks, so I can use another one. Cable quality is really good on there. In terms of usability, for general usage, for browsing the web or playing basic games on it, it's perfect for that. No issues with that at all. But if you're looking for something a little bit high end that does 1080p, for example, in terms of video quality, this isn't going to deliver that. So performance wise, it comes in quite low end. So you would really regard this as a budget tablet, nothing like the more higher end ones, just to make you aware. So there you go. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details in the description below. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.